uh, I'm still a little sick today. You can probably hear from my voice, but uh, still want to get a workout in and get up, get up early in the morning. Um, and, and I'm glad I did because uh, I had a breakthrough today doing the kettlebell swings. As I was doing the kettlebell swings, I realized two things. One is that the starting point of my swing, it, it has to be in the strongest position of me to jump up as high as I could up in the air. So it's that deadlift starting point where it's, it's, it's almost like I'm cocking a gun or cocking a spring and I am just ready to release all my energy. And that position has to be a very strong leg position where I can just kind of spring up. So that's the one thing I've realized. The uh, second thing is I always have this fear of the kettlebell hitting my ankles when I swing the kettlebell. So I, I always just try to make sure I have enough gap between my ankles. Uh, so, so the kettlebell doesn't swing at me. But I then as I watch more of the instructional videos that people have, it's just that the, the kettlebell, it's just going through my thighs. And that's another light bulb moment for me to, to understand that, hey, I am not swinging this kettlebell uh, between my ankles. It's actually a lot closer um, to my upper legs, my thighs. So having those two understandings really helped me uh, improve my form in the kettlebell swing. Um, um, but I, there's one thing I need to work on is the, the repeated motion of kettlebell swing. The timing, I, I don't have the timing right. Um, what I mean is that it's easy for me to to do one rep of kettlebell swing because I can focus on my position and I can swing it up and force my hip, like drive my hip up just like I'm doing a deadlift. And there's the reset moment, even when I'm doing deadlifts that, you know, I reset, catch my breath, but I don't get that for kettlebells. When that kettlebell comes down, I need to be able to reset my hip and drive it up again. And that's a timing I need to work on. It's a great progress for me, I think, to understand what I need to work on um, through help from subreddits, through help watching instructional videos, and then I'm finally understanding it. It kind of makes me understand how a lot of times at work, too, the first time you hear someone teach you something, it doesn't make sense at all. And I used to be so afraid to ask the second time because it made me sound like an idiot because I feel like the person kind of told me once before and I'm, I'm asking again and they're gonna what they're gonna think of me that oh like you, you don't understand it but in reality yes I don't it takes five six seven times you saying the same thing for me to really understand it because while you're talking while well, people are kind of teaching me things, I'm focusing on what I personally need to learn. And that might not be everything that the person is trying to teach me. And it takes time for me to understand certain aspects of the conversation before I can go into the next level to understand that. Just like I'm doing with the kettlebell. It takes me to even lift the kettlebell to understand the motion of it. Right, and now I understand what my arm is actually doing. And when I watch the videos, the guys are not actually swinging with their arms, right? So that takes a, another couple months of practicing, watching, and understanding for what other people tell you. Yeah. So, and yeah, you know, you know what the funniest thing is is that. Thinking back, right? Kettlebell swing is the first thing they teach you. And it's like one of the hardest, most difficult motion to learn besides the uh, Turkish getup. Because, oh gosh, I, I'm not even going to try the Turkish getup. 
until I have a couple of these motions down, like the the swings, the cleans. Cause Turkish get up is so complicated. I, I might need to break that down and yeah, though I'm not even gonna think about that yet. But yeah, o- overall, uh, good exercise session. Uh, with my waking up in the morning, I I've decided I'm going to change my time up to six thirty a.m. I think I'm ready for it. Uh, like like I said before, my goal is always get to four thirty. I'm gonna try thirty days for six thirty, then get to six o'clock um, eventually. But yeah, my habits are on point. Um, the more I'm doing the combination of waking up early, exercising, and meditation. If I complete those three things in one day, I feel a sense of accomplishment that also helps me throughout the day. Uh, so if anyone is watching this, if you have trouble sticking to habits, I highly recommend doing these three habits um, as a starting point. And you can use that to build on to other things. Yeah, uh, tomorrow's Friday, starting of a new weekend. Can't wait. Uh, but yeah, till tomorrow. Bye.